Turns out having a great relationship with your family or coworker is key to being healthy and happy. So how do you achieve this type of relationship? Joining us now to talk about this is Dr. Bill Baker and explain to us the key word here today is goodwill. Uh, yes, that's a very important word in any human relationship if it's going to be a healthy, happy relationship. Uh, goodwill, simply put, is the intending and extending of good to other people. At a basic level, it really means the absence of ill will or harm, and at a higher level, it means the presence of positive attitudes and active assistance toward other people. Uh, the goal is to try to discern what's best for the other person and then to promote that best. And if we're not sure what the best thing is, we simply ask what I call the goodwill question. What's the best thing I can do for you right now? That's goodwill. It sounds simple enough. What are some ways that people sh should be asking this question? What are some things that people should be doing to promote that type of relationship? Uh, great question. Um, the core of a goodwill relationship is a choice to practice the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. To practice that we have to reject two other rules that we see a lot in human relationships. Uh, a lot of people practice uh, the iron rule, uh, might makes right, uh, survival of the fittest and so forth. Uh, their philosophy is what's yours is mine and I'll take it if I can. Their motto seems to be every man for himself at the expense of others. And the second rule that a lot of people go by is what we might call the silver rule. And their philosophy is, what's mine is mine and I'm going to keep it if I can. And their motto is, every man for himself at the neglect of others. Now when we practice the golden rule, our philosophy is, what's mine is yours if you need it. And the motto is, every man for others at his own expense. Now of the iron rule and the silver rule and the golden rule, the golden rule is the only one that has the inherent power to sustain us in our travels along, let's say, the, the goodwill highway in life. Now, what, what is it about this type of goodwill relationship that tends to make people healthier and happier? Essentially that uh, people like to know that the other person is looking out for their, um, the best interest, that is not selfish, not being self-centered, but being concerned and interested in the other person. How could we not be drawn to someone or want to have a relationship with someone when we trust that that person's primary interest is not in what they're going to get out of it in a selfish, self-centered, narcissistic way, but rather in how they can help us promote what's good for us. So when both people are doing that for each other, uh, each one is looking out for the other one, trying to promote and lift the other person up to achieve their goals, then obviously uh, that's a very good, healthy, happy relationship. And we enjoy those kinds of things. Now often when you, when you go about your day, you know, particularly if it's a really hard day at work, you start on this path of you know, po being positive and thinking about others and then just something happens in your day you know, that doesn't go as planned. What do you do? What, what tips do you have to prevent negativity from you know, setting in and from derailing these, these relationships? That's a tough question and a very good one because that does happen to us in everyday life. Unfortunately, not everyone around us is equally committed to traveling on the Goodwill mm -hmm. Highway because they may be operating out of the silver rule or the iron rule. So one thing we need to do is every morning recommit ourselves to that choice in life that we're going to live by the golden rule that day. And if during the day we hit a major roadblock or obstacle, uh, we do the best we can to deal with it, uh, maybe get off for a few moments and collect our thoughts and recommit to our basic thing and that is as I practice the golden rule, what's the best thing for me to do to that individual even though that person at that moment may not deserve it, you know, but he needs it. So I try to treat him with the golden rule no matter how he treats me. That's a perspective, an aura that uh, is hard to keep. And we may have to revisit that several times during a typical day in order to stay on track on the Goodwill Highway. I noticed two words kept coming up, 
choice and commitment. I mean, this, this isn't just something that happens naturally. It's something that you have to make a conscious decision. I'm going to do this. It's a very definite choice and our world tempts us very strongly to live by the iron rule or the silver rule. And uh, seemingly too many people try to get into relationships and they're basing it on the silver or the iron rule and inherently those relationships are going to struggle. Uh, even when we practice the golden rule, uh, relationships can be difficult and challenging. So the goal is to make that active decision and focus on the golden rule. Thank you so much, Definitely. Dr. Baker. Really well, thank you very much. Always glad us. to be here.